Nagbabalak ka na rin bang kumuha ng bahay through pag-ibig? Well, panoorin mo ang video na to at nang malaman mo ang mga basic requirements pag nag-apply ng housing loan sa pag-ibig. My name is Hill and welcome to my channel. So, wag na nating patagalin pa. Here are the basic requirements pag nag-apply ng housing loan through pag-ibig. I classified the basic requirements into three classifications. Classification number one, membership. Number two, identification. And number three, proof of income or income documents. Let's proceed to classification number one, membership. Yes, kailangan muna member ka. Before you can apply for a housing loan in Pag-ibi, you need to be a member. And hindi lang basta-basta member ka. Kailangan meron kang monthly contributions. And the requirement is at least 24 months contribution. So what if hindi ka pa member and gusto mong mag-apply ng housing loan? No problem. Pwede ka magpa-member agad-agad. But the problem is the monthly contribution. So paano? Pwede mong bayaran ng lump sum payment ang requirement na 24 months contribution. And magkano ba ang monthly contribution na required ni Pag-ibig? The required monthly contribution is 200 pesos per month. But don't worry, hindi naman ikaw lahat ang magbabayad ng 200 pesos. 100 will be paid by your employer and 100 pesos ikaw ang magbabayad. So the total of 200 pesos per month. So if kaka member mo palang and gusto mo nang mag-apply ng housing loan sa pag-ibig, so 200 times 24 months, that will be 4,800. Yun ang babayaran mo as lump sum so that you will qualify for a housing loan in pag-ibig. The 4,800 is equivalent to the 24 months monthly contribution required by Pagibi. Classification number two, identification. Yes, kailangan identified ka. Dapat hindi ka alien. Dapat hindi ka galing sa ibang planeta. So dapat, you are a Filipino and you should have at least two valid IDs. Ibig sabihin ng valid ID, it should be issued by our government. Example is your driver's license or your passport. Another requirement as identification is proof of billing. Pwedeng sa kuryente or sa tubig. Pero make sure your proof of billing is yung bayad naman. Huwag yung may nakalagay na disconnected. If nangungupahan ka pa lang as of now and the proof of billing is not under your name, Pwede ka manghihe ng certification letter or authorization letter from the landlady or from the landlord. Pwede mong ipalagay sa kanya doon na he or she authorizes you to use her or his proof of billing for your housing loan. Another one is your birth certificate or preferably issued by the National Statistics Office or NSO. Pag ikaw naman ay married na, so taken ka na, Taken for granted. Taken for granted. Additional requirements will be the identification of your spouse. So, kailangan din natin ng two valid IDs of your wife or your husband. Bakit kailangan din ng ID ng husband or ng wife? Kasi, syempre, conjugal property na siya. Wala ka ng tatas. Dalawa kayo may-ari. And also, your marriage contract para talagang legal kayong mag-asawa hindi yung itinago ka kailangan din ng picture mo the requirement is either 1 by 1 or 2 by 2 picture kaya yung ibigay mo is yung pinakagwapo mo ng picture yung nakaganito it either it's a 1 by 1 or a 2 by 2 picture Classification number three, proof of income or income documents. Yes, kailangan pag nag-apply ka ng housing loan sa pag-ibig, may trabaho ka. 
or may pangbayad ka. Hindi naman pwede yung nangungupit ka lang sa nanay mo tapos nag-apply ka na ng housing loan. Malulugi sila. So, kailangan meron ka proof of income. So, for those who are employed, dapat meron kang ebidensya na meron kang sweldo. Hindi pwede yung tago-tago lang yung sweldo mo. Abot-abot lang. So, at least dapat meron kang tinatawag nating pay slip. The requirement of pag-ibig is at least 3 months latest pay slip. Another requirement is contract of employment. Or pwede rin certificate of employment with compensation. Kailangan nakalagay doon kung magkano ang sweldo mo. Another requirement in the income documents is kailangan meron kang TIN ID or TIN number. Ibig sabihin, kailangan nakaregister ka sa BIR. Kasi baka may kaso ka, may utang ka ng 100 million sa BIR. Ito pwedeng mag-apply. Yaman. So, kailangan you are registered in BIR and your TIN number is verified. Para naman sa mga self-employed or sa mga businessman or businesswoman, the requirements in the income documents are the following. Number one, pwedeng income tax return or ITR. Pwede ring bank statement for the latest 12 months. And kakailanganin din natin ang lahat ng permits of your business. Barangay clearance, barangay permit, mayor's permit, lahat na ng permit. Para naman sa ating mga dakilang OFW, the requirements are employment contract, certificate of employment with compensation, and dapat the employment contract should be in English para mabasa kung magkano yung sweldo mo. It should be translated to English. We also have an additional requirement para sa ating mga OFW. Ang tawag natin sa document na to is Special Power of Attorney or SPA. Kasi nga, ang ating mga OFW ay nasa ibang bansa sila. So, kailangan na merong mag-process of the documents in their behalf na nandito sa Pilipinas. So, in that case, you can delegate someone, either your friend or your family, to act in your behalf. So, ibig sabihin, this document, the SPA or the Special Power of Attorney, this serves as a high-level authorization letter. Ibig sabihin, you authorize that person to sign any documents in your behalf. So, hindi na kailangan ng OFW mismo na nag-apply ng housing loan ang pumirma and mag-process of the documents. Dahil meron na siyang someone delegated here in the Philippines to act in his or her behalf. That power is granted by the document we call as the SPA. And the delegated person will now be called as the attorney in fact. The forms that you will be filling out will be provided by the developer of the house or your real estate agent or pag-ibig itself. So it will be provided when you're already applying for a housing loan. So that's it guys. Those are the basic requirements pag ikaw ay nag-apply ng housing loan sa pag-ibig. Shout out nga pala to Miss Divine Charity Conde Lamis. Thank you, thank you always for supporting my channel. And if gusto mo rin magpa-shout out sa ating next video, you can comment down below. So thank you, thank you again for watching guys. If nagustuhan nyo ang video na to, you can hit like. And pag meron ka pang mga gustong itanong regarding this topic, you can comment down below. Pwede mo rin siyang i-share para malaman naman ng iba ang mga basic requirements pag nag-apply ng housing loan sa pag-ibig. And if you want more contents regarding real estate and investments, please subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa ating mga bagong videos regarding real estate and investments. Thank you, thank you again for watching. My name is Hill and I'll be seeing you on the next one.